Hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing well. So this video is all about the real time data processing and here we are going to compare the streaming as well as the batch processing in detail. So both the streaming as well as the batch processing are like the vital components of every big data application. And in this video we are going to go over the differences, the use cases and all the consideration it needs to choose the right way of handling the data. So without further any ado, let's get into it. So first of all, let's begin with the real time data processing. So in real time data processing, you're going to process the data as it comes in the real time. So for example, if you have a temperature sensor and you're reading the data every second, so the temperature reading will come every second and you will be getting like the quick insight into the data and what are the trends in the past and you can like feed that into a machine learning pipeline to predict the temperature in the upcoming days. So this is not an actual use case. This is just an example because in that prediction model, there are several components. It will not be only the temperature. There will be like different aspect to it. So we are not going to get into any details here. You have to first understand what really is a real time data is. And if we talk about the batch processing in batch processing, we are not going to process that data at the time when it arrives, but you can process it later in the chunks. So let's say if you have a daily load table which loads the data on a daily basis then definitely you can only process that data once for the whole day. So it is pretty useful for like non-immediate tasks. So if you are having like balance sheet reconciliation, the reporting purposes. So for that all those transactions you are going to process on a daily basis. So for those applications batch processing might be the better choice because at that time the data volumes will be higher and processing that data in real time will not make any sense as well as it will not be sustainable in the future so for those specific applications only the batch processing is the ideal choice so if you talk about the use cases as i already told you that batch processing is very ideal for tasks that are non-immediate in which you have like end of the day analysis as well as the historical analysis of the data as well as the batch ETL. So for that purpose batch processing will be a good choice. And if we talk about the real time data processing which is also known as streaming. So this is ideal for fraud monitoring and where you need a real time analytics platform. Also there are so many applications in the IoT field which only requires the real time data streaming and you cannot rely on batch processing because you will be needing a quick insight and a peek into your data to draw some meaningful insights. So if you are running a recommendation system like an Amazon or Netflix then at that time real time analytics is what it is doing in under the hood. So you may ask what really are the key differences between the batch processing and the real time processing. It is so straightforward and simple. So in batch processing, it will offer you a reliability where you can maintain the data integrity and confidential data, or you can say the more sensitive data, like the transaction of a customer. At that time, you can only rely on the batch processing because the real time insights are not required for those specific applications. And if you don't need the real time analytics, then you should definitely choose the batch processing. But if you talk about the batch processing, it will give you the real time insights into your data. So, but it will not maintain the integrity and the completeness of the data because of the transactions will not be asset compliant and that system will not be reliable. So in cases of the weather prediction or the IoT analytics or else the recommendation system at that time the completeness and the accuracy of data will not be the priority. So at that time real time analytics will be the good choice and that is like the only choice on those cases. So that was like the differences between batch streaming as well as the real time streaming. But that's not all. There are some factors that you need to consider to choose the right way to process your data. So you have to consider the factors like the data volume, the data latency, as well as the accuracy of data and what type of use case you are going to do on top of that data. 
but you may also ask how i can implement this and what are the tools and technology i'll be needing to implement this data processing frameworks so for batch processing there are like hadoop and spark are pretty popular in the data community as hadoop and spark are ideal for the batch processing and spark can also do the real time analytics as well as the machine learning operations and the graph processing so it comes with a lot of package so if you want to learn about apache spark we got a whole lot of series covered having an end to end knowledge from the beginner stage to the master so you can definitely watch that tutorial and let me know in the comments if you want to see more but coming to the topic if we talk about the real time analytics then there are several tools like apache kafka for real time streaming as well as apache flink and some of the cloud based tools that enable you to process and store the data in real time so what does the future hold for the real time data processing frameworks so the future is bright and you are likely going to see the combined version of both batch processing as well as the real time processing as the organization can take advantages and strengths of both the techniques so in future hybrid approach will be the better choice for every organization so in conclusion both the real time streaming as well as the batch processing have their own roles in the data world so the final choice really depends on your data needs and often the mix of both the worlds is pretty ideal choice for your organization so if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and also ring the notification bell to stay updated thanks for watching